Welcome everybody to another scratch tutorial. Today we are going to be this and it is super awesome. So get ready, let's let's just jump right into it. So basically this parallax effect is when one object moves further than the objects in the distance and this creates a really weird 3d effect that looks super uber duper awesome so so how we are going to do this is two different layers moving at different speeds so what we are going to do is when green flag is clicked looks hide and then we are going to repeat twice we are going to create a clone of myself then when you start as a clone it's going to show then we are going to make a variable that is for the sprite only and call it parallax then we are going to do when I start as clone forever go to mouse X times parallax and then mouse Y times parallax now if we play the project as you can see we now have our head but it just looks super 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 weird and it looks just like some like monk that like had a really good time. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dance with me, dance with me. Okay, that's enough of that. As you can see, his head moves too much. So we are actually going to set the parallax to point one when the project starts so his head doesn't move as much. So as you can see now, that is much more respectable and it actually looks like he's looking where you are pointing your mouse. And by the way, we have two layers. We have his head, his eyes, and then on the backdrop, we have just a body which doesn't move. Oh, this, this right here is a bit spooky. Now what we are going to do is we want both layers. There's actually both layers right now, but they're the same costume and they're in the exact same position so we can't tell. So we are going to do next costume and as you can see we are starting to get the effect that we want but as you can see it just looks like he's making straight eye contact with the camera and he's not doing anything there's no real 3d effect and okay enough goofery what we are actually going to do is look switch to costume 2 each time so that um his head doesn't look like it's all goofed up yeah and then what we are going to do is change parallax by 0 0.07 so if we do it now as you can see it's starting to look like a 3d effect that is super trippy and it looks like he's looking where the mouse pointer is it kind of brings an uneasy sense to your soul because it seems like He's just looking at you. But yeah, this is really useful and you could use this in a lot of games. You can do as many layers as you want with as many costumes as you want. But here's something you need to know. First of all, the parallax amount needs to almost always be a decimal. And the higher the decimal, the more it moves across the screen, if that makes any sense. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Peace.